let me explain to you the concept of asynchronous programming in under 60 seconds. So let's imagine we're a chef in a kitchen. We're only one person, and that means we can only really do one thing at a time. Let's say we're preparing some dish, and we have three steps or three things that we need to make as a part of that dish. If we were doing this synchronously, then we'd have to wait for each individual component of the dish to be finished before we moved on to the next one. So that means if it took 20 minutes to cook our chicken, we'd wait that full 20 minutes, cook the chicken, and then move on to the next step. Now, this is different than asynchronous programming. In asynchronous programming, we can only be working on one thing at a time, but we can pause working on something while we wait and move on to a separate task. So while the chicken is in the oven, we can start preparing the sauce or cooking the vegetables or working on the next steps while we don't need to be doing any work on the chicken. This is the general concept behind asynchronous programming. You can implement this in pretty much any programming language, and the idea is you're only doing one thing at a time, but you're switching between the different tasks, not waiting for one thing to completely finish before you move on to the next one.